Hey, welcome back to Not a Sermon, Just a Thought. It seems harder than ever to live like Jesus and love your neighbor these days, especially when your neighbor flies a different political flag than you do, or keeps posting obnoxious things on social media, or sports a bumper sticker that you find patently offensive. Have you ever just wanted to pull a pit maneuver and run somebody off the road because of a bumper sticker? I have. Here's another suggestion for how to love your politically offensive neighbor. And honestly, you may find this suggestion offensive. Ready? Don't be so sensitive. A lot of us Christians pretty much live in a constant state of being offended. I don't know if there's something in the baptistry water that increases sensitivity or, or if consuming small doses of Welch's grape juice over a long period of time thins the skin from the inside out, but for crying out loud... It's like we all place membership in the church of perpetual indignation. Did we really expect to navigate life without ever hearing or seeing something that we disagreed with? And if the unregenerate world around us declines to live up to the standards we hold sacred, it's doing exactly what God said it would do. He's not surprised when people do what is right in their own eyes. He actually wrote a book about it, ironically titled Judges. Why should we be shocked? If the darkness is, in fact, dark, it just makes the light shine all the brighter. Is the world full of things that bring offense? Absolutely. Human trafficking, drug addiction, pornography, generational poverty, abortion, child abuse, and neglect. There are lots of things that, that should discomfort a soul in step with the Spirit. But if everything is offensive, then nothing is. The most compelling reason for dialing down the indignation is this. It's just hard to tell somebody the good news when you're wearing your angry face. Like if the goal is to let everybody know what we're against, then by all means, fuss up a storm. But if we're trying to show the world a different way, a better way, the way, then maybe what we need is a more gracious, graceful approach. If God didn't send Jesus into the world to condemn it, I'm guessing Jesus didn't send us into the world for that purpose either. Not a sermon, just a thought.